Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Cash Tech. Uh, today, now we will discuss about uh, interlocking um, logics uh, of the switch gear in the substation. Uh, so let's open our single diagram. Okay, this is a single line diagram, and in this diagram, you can see here the logic table is shown. E01 is a line bay, E02 is a transformer bay, and E00 is a PT bay. This is uh, relatively simple. If you if you uh, cannot understand these symbols, you know, please check my earlier video, which is related to how to read single line diagrams. So, in this, um, this is very uh, is very simple. For example, Q0 is a circuit breaker. Here you can see. This is our circuit breaker. This is an on-load device. Uh, this is an isolated. It's an off-load device. It means you cannot. You can operate only when there is zero current, no load, and breaker. You can operate either with load or without load. So here you can see you can close the breaker only if Q1, Q9, any of them is on intermediate. You cannot close the breaker. So this is the first interlock. Uh, we will see here the uh, symbols meaning C for H equipment is in closed position, O means H equipment is in open position, I means H equipment is in intermediate state. So if, if the breaker is in operation, isolator is in operation, it is in, in between. So breaker should not uh, able to close it because if this is in operation and you close it, there is a possibility the heavy current will be flowing and the isolated contact will be uh, it could be damaged for example you are opening it and during this time opening time is for example is two seconds you also give the command to open the breaker so uh, in this case for example the current will be feed through this opening and the spark will come up here and this is is uh, damaging so this isolator load will break through this isolator so this is not recommended so if, if isolator is closed completely or open you can operate the breaker second is uh, arch switch uh, q51 the uh, uh, you can operate the arch switch if q1 is closed where is q1 uh, we can see here here q1 is q1 is here so you can close R switch if the isolator is open and this is mechanical interlocking so this is two in one built in R switch and isolator so you cannot able to close it unless the isolator is open so this is mostly mechanical interlock and then you can see Q9 this is the line isolator if you want to close it you have to first of all breakers should be open Q0 Q53 R switch should be open and q8 uh, should be open so we will see what is q53 and q8 here okay q8 is a line r switch should be open and q53 is the r switch of the line isolator itself so this r switch should be open this r switch should be open breaker should be open so then you can uh, able to close this isolator Further, you will see Q53. It, it is a uh, built-in R switch of Q9, so it is mechanical interlock. Q9. First, you have to open it, then you can close R switch. Similarly, Q8 is you can open it if Q9 is open, so you can operate it. Okay. Similarly, you can see and you can find the logic tables of uh, the similarly you can find logic table for a transformer another one uh, is, is very much similar to the line bay this is the PT uh, bay logic table so you can operate Q1 if Q51 and Q52 are open so let's see what is Q51 and what is Q52 Q51 Q52 is a bus bar, so it should open. 
and Q51 is R switch which is built in in the Q1 for uh, R switch you have to open it first and this R switch is open then you can close the link so this is the uh, interlock table for this and then uh, you can open the uh, you can operate R switch if Q1 is closed or, or Q1 is open uh, which is built in and similarly you can operate the Q52 if Q1 is open so again we can see the operation of Q52 where is Q52 this is the Q52 and this one is basically the bus bar R switch can be closed if Q1 bus isolator 1 uh, of line B1 second and VT all isolator have to be open bus isolators connected if you want to close the R switch so uh, thank you very much uh, to watching the cash test channel please subscribe to my channel and i will keep on giving you new videos thank you very much